Let me check if my... Is it on? Oh, yep. I think it's on. Very good. <laughs> I feel the magic in the air tonight. Yes, March favourites. Had to think for a moment there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. My first favourite for the month of March has been my NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair, which is just a really nice light pink natural shade. Uh, this is what I'm wearing today. I've probably been wearing this 70-80% of the time in March because it just goes with a lot of different looks. Very easy to wear. I love the NYX Butter Glosses range. If you haven't checked them out, then I highly recommend it that you do. Now, back in, I think it was February, I bought the CoverGirl 3-in-1 Foundation. I bought the shade 810. Now, <laughs> Uh, but some of you, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have known that I've had a problem with this foundation. It oxidizes on me. So when I first apply it, it applies like a dream, matches my skin perfectly. But within probably half an hour, you know, 15 minutes, it oxidizes and goes about three shades darker than my actual skin tone. Which total, oh, it's so annoying because... It reminds me of my Revlon Color Stay, which is my favorite foundation, only it applies a lot easier. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to waste my money. I want to find out a way that I can use this foundation. So I thought I would add in a few drops of my Revlon Color Stay. This is in the shade Ivory, um, which is lighter, one, one shade lighter than what I normally use. And I add one pump of the CoverGirl foundation and a few drops of my Revlon Color Stay in Ivory and it doesn't oxidize on me and it matches my skin perfectly but it also blends in much easier because of the CoverGirl foundation so most of the time pretty much oh, pretty much every day almost every day in March I've been wearing these two foundations together and they work like a dream now this was in my last month's favorite favorites but you know, I've been using it practically every day in March, so I couldn't not show it. And that is my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I'm sure you guys know and have heard all about these palettes. Um, but it's just a palette full of rosy neutral shades, which are perfect for every day. It's mostly what I'm wearing on my eyes today, and I just love these shades. I think they look so nice against blue eyes. They really bring out the blue in my eyes. And they're very easy to apply and blend and just I love the packaging too it's like a beautiful rosy gold <laughs> shade it's so so pretty but yeah definitely been loving this if you happen to get your hands on it because you can't buy Urban Decay in Australia um, my friend who's from America who lives in America she bought this for me and shipped it over but I think you can get it on beautybay.com I'm not quite sure, but I'll have some information down below if you want to check that out. Now, I needed a new base coat for my nails because my other base coat, which was the OPI Natural Base Coat, I think that's what it's called, was getting a bit old and it was making my nail polish peel off like in massive chunks, <laughs> which really annoyed me because, you know, you spend your time doing a manicure and then for it to just peel off like that within a day very annoying. So I thought I would pick up the OPI Ridge Filler Base Coat. Holy smokes, I love this stuff. So first of all, my nails are quite brittle, so if I do buff them to remove the ridges, they get even more brittle and break even more easily. So I thought I'd give this stuff a try, see if it does fill in my ridges and make my nails nice and smooth, and it does. It really, really does. It also makes my nail polish um, last a lot longer, like I can get probably five days without getting any chips, which is insane for me, which is ridiculous. On to some brushes. It's been a while since I've had some brush favourites, but these ones I can definitely say that they've been my favourites during March. So this one here is by Nude by Nature, and it's just their 
Kabuki brush. I originally bought this to use with mineral powder foundation, but I very, very, very rarely, if ever use that foundation anymore so I just use this to apply my powder because I do like pressing my powder into the skin I feel like it sits on the skin a lot better than that than just dusting it on and because this is quite dense because it is a kabuki brush you can really press it into the skin my next favorite is a Sigma brush and this is the P82 so it's like the F82 but just a baby version with like rounded edges and it's synthetic, so it's great for cream products. So what I use this for is, no matter what mascara I wear, whether it's really expensive or really cheap, I will get black dots underneath my eyes. <laughs> and it's the most frustrating thing in the entire world because sometimes it happens and then sometimes it doesn't happen and sometimes it'll happen straight away or not for a few hours. So I've got to keep checking myself in the mirror Make sure I don't have these massive black splotches under my eyes. Um, if I use my finger to try and blend them away, it just, they won't blend. It won't budge. But if I use the P82, it'll blend it away nicely without tugging on my skin that much. And also, it doesn't um, disrupt the concealer that I've already placed there. It doesn't blend it away. So that's why I have been loving the P82. I actually keep it in my handbag with me at all times because no doubt I will have mascara blotches underneath my eyes and that's not a pretty look. My next uh, favorite brushes, I've got quite a few, eh? Um, it's more so like a line rather than a particular brush, but it is the Sigma Copper Brush. Normally they come with the um, chrome, you can get them in gold as well, but you know, I love the copper. So uh, I've only got four because they're a few dollars more expensive than the regular price and it's not cheap. It's not cheap. <laughs> I think that maybe this is an E55 and I think that might have been $14. So it's not cheap. Um, I'm going to get a few at a time and build up my collection, you know, when I can. Um, but I got the E55, a nice flat shader, which is um, a staple for me for my eye makeup. I can't do my makeup without a flat shader brush. I got the E30 pencil brush which is awesome for putting a shadow along the lower lash line as well as in the outer V. I then have my favorite blending brush at the moment which is the E35 which is similar to the E40 which I think is more popular but it's more dense and it doesn't fluff out as much so it's a bit more precise which is what I like about it and then I have the F10 which is just your basic blush brush and so yeah I just you know you feel a bit special using them <laughs> and yeah I just really been liking them I hope to buy some more for accessories this month I've been loving adding big sparkly glamorous earrings in with my outfits and I've got a few here. I showed them in my holiday haul so they're from Forever New. The first pair are these ones right here and so they're a big massive diamante in the middle or crystal I'm not sure what you call it and then tiny little crystals on the outside. I think they're so cute and so glamorous. I really love them. Um, my favorite set have been these ones from Forever New as well and it's just like a cluster of sparkliness. <laughs> so you've got a diamante in the middle and then a couple rows of diamantes and pearls. So I really, really love these ones. These ones have been my favorite. I've probably been wearing them the most uh, this month. And then the other pair that I have, but I can't find them anywhere, so I can't show them to you. Um, but it's a pearl in the center surrounded by diamantes. It kind of has that vintage look. My other accessory, favorite has been a watch that I am wearing. I'm a bit hesitant to show you guys because I don't want you guys to think that I'm showing off or bragging or anything like that. But it has been my favorite for the month and yeah. So <laughs> my beautiful husband, wonderful husband, he bought this watch for me and bless his cotton socks as my friend says. Um, 
Yeah, he was so... Okay. So there's a website over here. I think you can get another country. I'm not quite sure. It's called Catch of the Day. And on there, they have daily sales of anything. So you have like watches, you have clothes, shoes, kitchen appliances, bedding, anything you can think of. And one day I was just browsing, just checking out the website and I saw Michael Kors watches for 50% off. What? 50% off. Oh my gosh. So first of all, it's really hard to get a hold of Michael Kors watches in Australia and they're about roughly $100 more expensive in Australia than in the state, which isn't too bad when you think about it because most of the time stuff that we buy here is twice as much or three times. So this is only a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is what it looks like from far away. Um, I can't remember the, the, what's the name, the product number, but I will have it down below. So check down there. So this is a rose gold watch. I've been wanting one of these for the past couple of years. And uh, so it has three different faces on the face as well as the date. And then it also has glow in the dark um, hands on the watch and as well as these four little points on the face. And then it's surrounded by diamantes. And then the band, which I really like, is like a bangle. So, um, or a bracelet, whatever you want to call it. So, I really, really like it. It came with, um, are you kidding me? I had to take some links out because it's too big, um, watches and bracelets and everything are just always too big for my wrists because I have quite small wrists. Like, I saw it on Catch of the Day and I told TM, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to get it for cheaper than this, and I was freaking out, freaking out, and I said, and I was like flipping back and forth, yes, get it, don't get it, yes, get it, don't get it, in the end I was like, no, don't get it, we have bills to pay, we have responsibilities, don't get it, Tim, and Tim being the amazing husband he is, he bought it for me as a surprise, so thank you very much, Tim. <laughs> My favourite music of the month has been from Sarah Bareilles, who is my favourite female artist. From her latest album, I have been loving three particular songs. The first one is Brave, which I'm sure you guys have all heard, and it's all over the radio here in Australia anyway, and uh, on the on the um, TV. If you guys haven't seen the video clip for that, it's hilarious. You should go watch it. I've also been loving Manhattan, which is just a such a typical Sarah Bareilles song. It's my favourite um, style that she does. So it's just her singing and her playing the piano and that is it. And it's so real and beautiful and sad. It's a sad love song, um, which, you know, Sarah Bareilles does them so good. You can hear the sounds of the piano in the song and I'm not meaning the notes that the piano is making, but I'm meaning like you can hear the pedal going up and down, you can hear her pressing the keys and releasing the keys and it's just a really beautiful raw song. I really love that. And then the other one that I love is called Satellite Call. You guys might have heard it if you're a Pretty Little Lies fan. It was featured towards the end of season four in Pretty Little Liars. Um, it's so cool, that song. It's so cool. I haven't heard any song like it. Um, the chorus consists of ooze, and that's it. <laughs> and um, because it's called Satellite Call, so the chorus sounds like a satellite sending out its signal. Like, you know how a satellite goes beep, 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 you know, whatever. So, the she's kind of made the chorus sound like that, but much cooler than how I explained it. So, I will link all of those songs that I just mentioned below so you can go and listen to them because, you know, I'm not that great at explaining them. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, my favourite YouTuber of the month. And I really should have mentioned her in my February favourites because that's when I discovered her in February, um, is Blogilates. And her name is Cassie Ho and she is a Pilates instructor who does Pilates videos. So one day I just jumped on YouTube and typed in beginners Pilates. And her video was the first one that popped up. And I clicked on it, absolutely loved it, checked out more of her channel. Oh my gosh! 
Shut up! <laughs> okay, you guys are just gonna have to deal with this dude cutting his steel, okay? Because he keeps starting it up and I can't control it. <laughs> anyway, so yes, I searched one day, found Blogilates, have been loving it ever since. Cassie is such an inspirational, motivational Pilates instructor. I've really been enjoying her workouts. She does total body workout videos or she focuses on um, individual parts of the body or trouble areas, that sort of thing. So I definitely recommend you go and check her out. Out. So that is it for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have an awesome month of April and don't forget to check me out on all of my social media which is Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. All of those links will be down below. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll be talking to you very, very soon. Hey guys, so today I'm doing the TMI tag, which stands for Too Much Information. It's 50 questions, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Question number one, what are you wearing? All right, so I am wearing, these earrings are from Forever 21.